it's Sonic Gamma here with a review as well as a rant. And I'm Bill. Nobody cares, dude. Why are you so mean to me? <sighs> well, let's begin with our review of Metroid Fusion. A few weeks ago, I was rather bored, and after watching a few videos about Metroid, I decided to play a Metroid game. Now, let me explain before I go any further. I love Metroid Fusion. The soundtrack, the gameplay, the graphics, it's sincerely a beautiful game. The story is amazing and, well, is rather easy to get indulged in real quick. So, on the topic of that, let's talk about the story. Alright then, so let's get to the story. You start off on the planet SR388, which is the home of the Metroids. When you arrive, you encounter a strange creature that eventually goes inside of your body. You later find out that this creature is known as the X-Parasite, a deadly parasite that goes inside of an organism's body, replicates it, and kills it in the process. Samus, our protagonist, has a minimal chance of survival, with her spinal cord infected as well as her suit. It seems Samus is going to die, but a bit of the Metroid DNA from the baby Metroid from Super Metroid, that's a lot of Metroids, saves your life. After that, your suit is still infected and has to be surgically removed, thus giving you what is known as the Fusion Suit. This fiasco ends which results in you and your ship's new computer, which you call Adam, to go to a space station that sent out a distress signal. Upon arrival, you find out that the X-Parasites have made it onto the ship and are taking over. Then bad gets even worse, when you find out the infected parts of your suit have been replicated to form a being called the Samus Aran X, or the SAX for short. As you go around this hellhole of a space station, you find that the Galactic Federation, the people who own this station, as well as hire you to do dipshit missions, are making a Metroid breeding program that the SAX eventually destroys. Also, that's not the only SAX. Now there are no less than 10 throughout the whole station. Damn it, asexual parasites, you've done it again. Oh, and now you have to blow this place up. I mean, what the fuck? This is just getting even worse for Samus by the second. So, afterwards, you have to finally fight an SAX in probably the hardest boss fight I've ever had. Hell, I had to use cheats after 50 or more times of losing to it. Then... While trying to escape the station, we run into an Omega Metroid. Oh my god. One hit and I'm at one health. Oh shit. Wait. What? Is that the... Hey wait. It's helping me? Oh. Oh, now it's dead. My power's now. Death to all who oppose me. <laughs> and after defeating the Omega, you escape resulting in a nice cutscene and all that jazz. So, that's it for the story. Now, for the actual game. And with that now settled, let's start with the gameplay. So, of course, at the beginning, you have no upgrades. And you're extremely vulnerable to cold due to the Metroid DNA. And Metroids don't like ice. Yeah. You're also really weak, so you will die. A lot. And damn will it get really fucking annoying. I mean, after a while, typical enemies are easy. But the boss fights will kick your ass until you cry. Here's a list of the bosses, as I will put them on screen. In order of appearance. Arachnus. Which is, you know, the first boss. It's a rather simple boss, and after a while, if you didn't win it the first time, you'll get used to it the next time. So, there's that. Then there's the Charge Beam X, which is rather simple, because all you have to do is shoot the core X that it is, and that's about it. Then you have Zazabi. Pretty simple fight, actually. Not that bad after a while if you get used to it. Then Ceres, which is actually probably the easiest fight other than Arachnus, 
because you're pretty much you're just shooting it in the head and avoiding it, so there's that. And then the core axe is rather simple. Then the first box security fight is where it all kind of gets a little harder. Uh, the first one isn't that bad, but, you know, yeah, just wait until the next one. The Mega Core X is rather difficult, but if you can shoot it with your charge beam, or I, I don't know what beam you have at this point, but if you can shoot it with your beam, you should be able to get it, and it should be fine. Then you have the Wide Beam X, which is pretty easy, but also you have to realize that in the time, because during this time, there's self-destruct going on, you have to defeat this thing within a quick time, and that's where it gets a little bit excruciating. Yakuza is the most annoying, but we'll explain that later. He's a spider who should actually be named Arachnus, because it's a spider, and Arachna, you get the whole gist of that. Don't care. Then, there's Notori, which is actually a rather easy boss for late in the game. So... Yeah. Then there's the Nightmare, which is a pretty typical hard boss, but you can beat it after a while, and you get used to it. Then, after that, it gets all difficult with the motherfucking second box security boss fight. But hey, at least this time you finally get to kill it, right? Then, after that, you fight Ridley X, which can be really easy if you know what you're doing. Oh, and then after that is the SAX, and that's a pain in the ass to deal with. So, yeah. And at last, the Omega Metroid. Oh, and now, Ridley X screaming. <laughs> ah, yes. Now let me tell you, my least favorite boss has been tied. The SAX and Yakuza are both my most hated enemies throughout all of Metroid Fusion. With the former always chasing you down and the latter being extremely fucking annoying, it tends to be pretty damn awful with those two. My favorite boss, of course, in this game is the Nightmare, for his music and his face. I mean, look at it! But besides these bastards, Metroid Fusion is an actually enjoyable game with its enemies and its just creepy atmosphere that makes it the game that it is. So, let's go to soundtrack, which will really just be you listening to music and me not saying a single word.
Okay, now to wrap this up here is the rant part of the video. This game is fucking difficult. I fucking punched my wall over this game. The immense amount of stress that this game delivers will make you miserable. And coming from me, it sounds like hell. My rating for this game for newbies to Metroid is a 6.4 out of 10. It's fucking hard to play, and it's just stress-filled. For Metroid fans, my rating is 8.7 out of 10. It's an extremely enjoyable game, if you know what to do. And I didn't, so that's how it works. Anyway, I am Sonic Gigano. Gamma messed that one up, but you know what? I can do better next time, and screw you people who say I'm not doing that good. Don't care. Anyway, I'm Sonic Gamma, and I'm signing off, and this has been my review of Metroid Fusion.